We could, yeah, I used to do grid interviews. We couldn't do grid walks. That wouldn't work because everything was in translation, you see, because the stuff we did was translated uh, into work, French, German, Spanish, Italian. So we had, we, A, we were told we had to do very short interviews. And secondly, obviously, we couldn't do bang, 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 bang. We had to do bang, wait, Nick, bang, I would, I would love wait, to, I would love to continue bang, this conversation, wait, uh, but bang, we have people at home falling asleep I would bang, wait. on Sunday <laughs> afternoon. Well, why shouldn't they? Um, our, we've got our Honda cadets making their way around the Honda Cadet 200 are making their way around and it's Archie Cannon and Ned Spain who are leading the field round there what a beautiful sight that is that's a you know typical airfield circuit there uh, been racing here since 1959 around the hangars to start since with you were then. what a 10 year old <laughs> <laughs> that is so offensive and rude um, they will line up on the grid in front of us for a standing start, which is uh, one of my favourites. The only thing I've got against cadet carts, because I think they're fantastic, they do mm. sound like lawnmowers, though. Well, mm. yeah, I mean... Whenever I hear him going past, I think, Honda. Oh, whenever, whenever I hear him going past, I'm thinking, oh, are we in trouble when I get home? That, I haven't done the lawn. Honda engine started life as a generator, didn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, I tell it's, you what... It's a very it's highly been, tuned generator It's been now. honed and tuned <laughs> uh, in its current state. Yes, if you stuck that in lawnmower, you'd be going down the strut to 90, oh, yes. 90 yeah, miles yeah, an hour. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'd be, uh, yeah... Uh, just having them coming onto the grid now, their parents and helpers making their way down to their slots. Archie Cannon on the pole, Ed Spain lining up alongside them, behind them. Ralphie Branscombe on the oar plate, just getting a last minute uh, hug of good luck from Dad. Archie Loveridge alongside, Ryan White with his dad, Paul, just making his way off the grid now. And the clear grid horn has sounded. So, it's all about a championship with a 28-point lead. Ryan White goes into this final with Ed Spain second in the championship, ahead of him on the grid. And then Archie Cannon, 60 points behind him, also ahead on the pole position. With the lights about to go red, we've got the five-second board. The revs rise, the lights go Holding them out. That was a long hold from Dan Ashton. Oh, he was and slewing across to the right hand side has on gone Ed Spain. But it's Archie Cannon who will lead into the first chicken. Yeah, another great start from Spain. But, uh, you know, the long hold, you kind of desperately try not to jump the start. And then you just don't get the launch you want. But second place, not too bad. And you can see that uh, Ralph Branscombe in that bright pink helmet is in third. They sweep up towards the chicane for the first time. Into the second chicane then. Archie Cannon from the pole position. Ed Spain in second. Ran Ralphie Branscombe in third. It's Ryan White and then that's fourth. Ryan White yep. in fourth. He's already made a, a move on Archie Loveridge. They stay in that position through Ashton's hairpin. And then on down towards the arena section in the left, then the right. And then it's accelerating through the next right-hander. And then Ryan White had Archie Loveridge alongside him there, but they've sorted themselves out through Beavers and heading down across the line to complete one lap. Yeah, a bit of a kerfuffle at the back, but actually most people staying in position. They've kind of settled down after a lap. They're in a, a long train. A little bit of gap between fifth and sixth, but the top five certainly together at the moment. Fifth place is Archie Loveridge. Don't forget the Archies are both battling very closely for third overall in the championship. Ryan White, who is the champion elect, currently in fourth. They're just getting just falling off. I don't think White's had the had the ultimate pace this weekend. I think it's just one of those days set up not quite right, wherever it may be. Well, there, but was, there was one of the heats where we saw him just making his way gradually yeah. through the through the so field. Second and super, first super heat. Yeah, was it? And mm. and he just ended up sort of you know second. Second. And yeah. he had led for three corners as well. Mm. But, yeah, I thought so. But another point. Then the next heat, he just fell off the back of everyone. I well, both fell off. I mean, like a tenth of a second. I know lap. what you mean. Yeah, fell fell away from them. But you know, he's been the class of the field over the season. So you know, it, it goes to show that you know you've got the he's got the backup, he's got the speed, he's got the cart. But sometimes you just aren't at home with a particular combination of circumstances, track design. He's has a, changed the lead. There, Spain yeah, comes Ed through Spain into the lead, into the hook, and the top three or the the leading three become the leading five once again. As Ed Spain. Leads into and out of the second chicane. Archie Cannon slots in behind. Doesn't panic too much. Still a lot of race to go. We're inside of eight minutes now remaining. As they come out of Ashton's, head towards the uh, the arena. Branscombe in that pink helmet. Easy to see him in third place. 
And then in fourth, that's Ryan White, Archie Loveridge latching onto them. A five-cart train now beginning to pull away from the rest of the field. Yeah, coming into the first weekend again. No one really looking to do anything in particular at the moment. It's interesting how they really do just do this kind of settling down sometimes, don't they? When they know they've got several minutes, it's a bit of a case really where they think, well, yeah, yeah, you can lead and I'll be second. If you're not breaking away, I don't need to do anything at the moment because the advantage they are doing is putting a gap between this first section of carts and the next block, which is currently out now to 1.7 seconds, that's four. And you see they're already moving into clumps, aren't they? Yeah, you're, as long, they as are. the, you're, as long as you're in the leading clump, that's great. Apart from the fact that now, contrary to what I said, Ed Spain's breaking away. And Ryan White has seen it. He's not having it. So yeah. Ryan White now has worked out that Spain's getting away. And therefore, he needs to start trying to get nearer and trying to push forward with this group. Yeah, Ryan White ahead of Ralphie Branscombe. Um, the group behind this group of five is being led by Ricky Jr. McIntosh. And we'll keep an eye and see if McIntosh is closing the gap. The gap is just under two seconds. And Kevin Ivanov is... Actually, it's Ivanov who's got ahead of Ricky Jr. McIntosh. Ivanov and Riley Blakemore only just under two seconds. Ricky Jr. McIntosh fall into it. As Branscombe loses another position, it looked like. Or was that a back mark? I just looked up there, Nick. And so Branscombe, yeah, Branscombe's down to fifth. Yeah, it's, it's, it's oh, good. So is that Branscombe? Back. Yeah, but pink helmet's Branscombe in fifth, yeah. That's Ivanov. What's Ivanov doing there? Yeah, Iv Ivanov. We've, oh, we've moved back. We've moved back. back. Group. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about Pratt. You're in trouble for talking about it. All right, okay. There, yeah, well you see. Paul. Yeah, Paul's done what, has been listening to you and then confused you. Yes, it's <laughs> completely. <laughs> the two pink helmets. That That is Branscombe, though. Branscombe he's dropping fifth, down the yeah. order, yeah. No, he's not. He's in, so he's ninth. in ninth. Oh, so he dropped down to extra yes. confuse you. Yeah, he did, did. That that did confuse anyway, me. Anyway, back with the leaders. <laughs> yeah, that's easy to confuse. I was looking down the timing <laughs> screen. I looked up and saw Branscombe. <laughs> and like, he was surrounded by people he hadn't been surrounded we by. We have to learn down. you can never look at the timing screen I at know, casting I events. Know. You can go to an endurance race and nothing changes for half an hour. <laughs> <in> time <laughs> yeah, yeah. This thing, you've got like three corners at most. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So Spain leading. Um, let's, let's hope we don't say that again, eh? So let's let's make that the last time we say that today. Yeah. Spain in the lead by just Isn't under again? seven tenths. <laughs> okay, we'll not say that again. Um, from Ryan White, Archie Cannon, Archie Loveridge, Kevin Ivanov, Riley Blakewell, Ricky Junior, McIntosh, and Jin Patel Scott, in amongst that lot as well. So second and third is where the action is. Is White and Cannon gap about two tenths of a second. So White is moving forward. Uh, he will very easily with this positioning retain or okay, but win the championship he has the number one plate so i assume he retain the championship ryan white slid a little bit wide there just missed his apex at the hook and that allowed archie cannon to just poke his nose there not kind of inadvertently there it wasn't certainly not deliberate just had momentum that he kept going spin ed spin continues through and into ashton's through the right hand hairpin now and out and they're beginning to string out first second third and fourth Ed Spain, Ryan White, Archie Cannon, Archie Loveridge beginning to fan out a little bit with four minutes remaining. Still plenty of time for them to concertina back. Yeah, that's all kind of now. Suddenly, they've, they've got very split apart in the top four. Ivanov coming back from that uh, DNF in the first of the Super Heats when he was leading up to fifth. Saying that, second and third back together again. Yeah, this is... Cannon uh, hassling Ryan White. So championship-wise, Ed Spain is 60 points behind Ryan White. So with no, Ryan White currently behind. second. He's, he's, 20, he's 28 points behind. No. Uh, sorry, yes, Ed Spain. Sorry, Archie Cannon is uh, 60 points behind Ryan White. So that's not quite enough. If Ryan White finishes behind Ed Spain, Ryan White will be the champion again. He won the championship last year. That's why he's carrying the number one. He will continue carrying the number one if it finishes like this. But with three minutes to go, Nick, the way it's gone to deer, we, uh, we can't preempt anything, can we? No, he's, uh, he's looking good. I mean, it, effectively, really, yeah, there's, there's four, this breakaway of four now since we lost um, Ralph Branscombe. Effectively, he is now very much anywhere in that top four. is more than enough to claim the championship for Spain. It just depends where he wants to be, where, where he wants to be on, a, on an individual podium for this particular race meeting. Spain... Really showing a bit of turn of speed. Ed Spain's had a did win the last round, so he's in uh, Raura, so he's obviously got a chance to uh, win the last two rounds later. Marker for wherever he goes next season. Oh, 
oh, look at this. This is a grid battle. Archie Cannon not letting Ryan White settle in, is he? No. He's right there with him. This is obviously playing massively into the hands of the hands of Ed Spain, who will leave the two behind him. The gap was 0.75. The gap this time by is 0.8. So it's it's eked out a, mid, a smidgen, hasn't it? Not not massive. And you know what? Ed Spain only has to start missing apexes and breaking points. And Ryan White, Archie Cannon, Archie Loveridge will be right there with him. Yeah, it's uh, very, very close. He's so close. He's actually wobbling his rear bumper at one point there. Mm. Um, as they kind of almost push each other along. So Ed Spain in the blue, leading from Ryan White. And that will be your 1-2, but in the order 2-1 for the overall championship. Archie Cannon in third, and that should be enough to keep him in third overall because his uh, main challenger, which is Archie Loveridge, is behind him. But I'm just wondering whether the Loveridge and Cannon change around. It wouldn't be quite be enough, actually. Loveridge needs to get a place ahead of it. He needs to get two places ahead of a Cannon yeah. to get the uh, third place overall. So one, two, and three in the championship. They're currently positions two, one, and three, which in a way kind of shows you've got the right people at the front this year. Gap comes down to half a second, so they are pulling Ed Spain back. And that's because, look at that, Ryan White pointing pointing out Ed Spain to Archie Cannon. And because Archie Cannon is working with Ryan White, look at the gap they've pulled back. There was almost a second, Nick, just a couple of laps ago. Now it's almost nothing. With Ed Spain coming out of Ashton's, he's got Ryan White almost on his bumper. Archie Cannon's definitely on Ryan oh, White's closed that down massively. Yeah, massive, massive closing. Go, oh, it's gone Battenberg. It's gone Battenberg. That'll finish oh, the it's race. It's gone Battenberg, and it's 34 seconds remaining. That will be. We've got a cart off at the oh, second upside chicane. Down. Upside down, but the, the uh, it's a Branscombe in the in the pink helmet, I think. So that I think Nick, that's going to finish with a checkered flag. Yeah. You check a flag next time round. Branscombe's out of the cart. I think he's slightly hurt his arm, so. That's unfortunate. Hopefully it's nothing serious. Ed Spain slows the pack down out of the hook. They will slow the field down. They'll all uh, gather up line astern. They've got one more racing lap after this in Battenberg formation. So that will mean that the race will finish like that. And that will mean that Ryan White they're going to is a consecutive champion. Yeah, theoretically, they should do another one after this. But yes, are that's they, right. But are they going to checker it one early? Because I don't know. the lad is sitting on nope. the barrier. This is his last lap. Okay, the lad's sitting on the barrier. Um, I think he's all right. He's on his feet. Yeah. I is that Ralphie, is it? I think well, he's got a bright pink helmet. So I think it is. It yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. It it's is. really bad luck for him. They're rescuing the car. They're rescuing. They might get, they might get going for another lap. I don't know. They might go green for the last lap, which is probably the last thing that... Uh, <laughs> They want to do, but I don't think it's because they're, they're coming under now, and I don't think they get a chance to go green in time. And they're not being silly and trying to make it a, a grandstand fit. They're not. Well, right. they're, they're into the last lap under Battenberg, so they, that be is order. how it's going to finish. Nick looks no. like Ralphie's okay. He's a bit shaken up. I'm not thinking. Yeah, it's not the greatest day of his life, um, but I think he's okay, which is the good news. Yeah. Not a way to finish a season upside down. Not a way to finish a season out of the cart. But he's driven well, Ralph, and he, well, I know we've talked about him a few times, and of course he is the O-plate holder. So they are going to finish in this formation with Ed Spain will take the final win. Ed Spain, the winner at Rowra, and now the winner at round five here at Fullback. He was second at round one, fourth at round two, fifth at Wardlaw at round three, took the win at Rowra, and he will take the win here at Fullback. He will finish second in the championship, though, to Ryan White, the number one there, who will come home in second place. Now, Ryan took the win at Wilton Mill at round one, took the win at round two at Glanny Gores. He was fourth at Warden Law. He came second behind Ed Spain at Row Rep. And once again, it's a very... It's a, in fact, it's exactly the same finishing formation as we had at Row Rep. Ed Spain, Ryan White, Archie Cannon... With a chequered flag flying under Battenberg conditions, we congratulate Ed Spain for his second win of the season and we congratulate even more so Ryan White who will, who will keep that accolade of the Cart Championship champion. Subject to final scrutiny. Subject to making that official.
these these results are always these are party live TV results, not the official results. They've no. been calculated by <laughs> Gaz Bury and me <laughs> and you to an extent. <laughs> yes, and a little bit of help from you. But I think Paul stuck his nose in once or twice. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> Actually, no, Paul, you're good at maths. 